Yo, what's up? Joshua Casper here with a one engine WordPress theme tutorial. Uh, I found this theme um, online. If you come over here, if you go to enginethemes.com or search in Google for engine themes one engine, it's a free one page WordPress theme that's pretty, pretty sweet. It's free and it's pretty versatile and it's got a lot of really just shiny bright and shiny things going on with it but I'm gonna show you kind of how to set it up because I was a bit confused when I did it and there aren't any video tutorials online there's a forum and there are people very active on the forum one guy in particular is just all over the place answering questions and doing a great job doing it but um, some people like videos so this is what I'm gonna to try to do is just set up these videos so today I'm gonna to show you how to set up your logo and also how to set up your contact form. When you install the One Engine theme, it says you need to use Contact 7 form and it will ask you to install it and activate it and you should do that. Once you've done that, uh, you come down here and you can see that the contact is now here. You come into Contact Forms and the contact form that comes with it is not very nice. It's really bulky. It's way too big. But um, if you come in to the edit thing and you go over to my blog, I'm going to leave this right here, this kind of code to set it up to give it this nice looking one here. Uh, and everything works fine. And it's all great and dandy. So, uh, once you've set that up, you've copied and pasted that from my blog, there are a couple things you're going to have to do on top of copying and pasting that. You want to come down to the subject and get rid of it uh, because there is no subject line and when it comes to your email it will say this and we don't need that. Uh, you want to leave everything else the same. It's going to take the name from the form and the email from the form and put it in here. And if you want to change a little message saying which site it came from, for instance, mine came from alanwalls.com, this email was sent from a contact for on Alan Walls Music. Perfect. I like that. Uh, everything else looks good. So once you've copied and pasted this code, if you want yours to look like mine, and you've changed the subject line from here, gotten rid of it, and gotten rid of the subject from here, uh, you need to copy and paste this short code here. You want to save it. Once it's saved, the way to get it onto your template is to come over here to the theme options and come to the footer section. And then there's a context seven short code. Cool, you want to just read the note, make sure it's all good. Drop the code right in here like I've already done. And if you want to change copyright or whatever, we could say joshuacasper.com. All rights reserved. And you notice that there's a spelling mistake here. It should be all rights reserved, right? So change that. Um, there is, if you have an address, phone number, or email, you can put those in there. I don't want to use any of those on the page, so I got rid of it. Uh, contact us is fine with me, and I just put contact for booking, remixing, and licensing because that's what the website's going to be used for. And everything else I just left the same and hit save changes. And that's what it should look like now on your website. Yay. And it works. Just make sure it does work. If it doesn't work, um, give me a message. I know that sometimes it doesn't work. And uh, there's a workaround for it that's fairly simple. The other thing I want to talk about in this video is the general settings where you can put in your logo and favicon. Now, I found that 80 by 80 works perfectly. It will fit right inside of the where the menu is going to be and it will look real nice. And if you can use the same image for both the logo and the favicon, as you can see right here, the favicon looks good and the logo looks good. So we are already playing with fire here. That was fairly simple. Now, the other thing about the footer while we're talking about it is it says also check WordPress direct theme by elegant themes. Now, I don't want that there. So how to do that is we have to get into the PHP files of the actual uh, website. And you need to do that by using an FTP 
uh, program, I use FileZilla. All right, now that I have FileZilla open, I want to come into Allen Walls, which is the name of the subdomain on my server. And then I want to come into WordPress content, WP content. And then I want to come into themes, find the one engine. And when I open that up, I want to come to the footer PHP file and I want to bring that and slap it on my desktop. And then I want to come in and open it in my uh, PHP HTML editor. And I'm, I use a free one called Notepad++. It does the job. It's free. FileZilla is free, so we're, we're playing with fire. And then we want to come down for the, that section about uh, one engine. Now, you can leave it on there to help promote the site, but I'll figure I'll promote the site for real uh, by making these tutorials and by promoting them on my blog. So just have to find it. Get in touch. Sweet, 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 sweet. Here we go. Here we go. And I'm just going to erase this whole section right here. Okay. And then I'm going to save it. And come back here. Take it. No, not the template. I want to put the footer on here. Overwrite. Okay. Come back, refresh, and as you can see now, it is all gone. Now we can go a little bit further inside the footer here. Uh, this part does take HTML, so we can go add href equals uh, quotations, HTTP, uh, JoshuaCasper.com. Boom, 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 boom. And that should do it, right? Or I guess we could take that period and put it on the outside. There we go. And save changes. Refresh. And boom. Now the link is clickable. So that's how you set up the footer. So I think that's pretty good, good, pretty good place to stop. And uh, I hope you, I hope you learned something. And uh, we're going to go ahead and keep making tutorials for this template, and uh, see what we can't learn about it. Anyway, see you next time.